Welcome to Journaling Saturday, where you get journal prompts to help you uncover limiting beliefs to transform them into your unique magic. If you're new to the Magic Atelier, welcome. We are a magical soul tribe that values freedom and manifestation through self-reflection, learning, and creative explorations. We believe we are all capable of healing and growing into the best version of ourselves, and it is our birthright to build true wealth by expanding our conscious mind beyond the system that was taught. If you're into the law of attraction and personal development, you will enjoy subscribing to our channel, which talks about freedom, manifestation, and magic. For journaling. We encourage digital journaling because we want to do what we can to preserve Mother Earth. We love nature and animals, and we also want to spark our creativity through digital journaling. If you're new to digital journaling, you can download our free The Magic Atelier digital journal in our links to get started. You can duplicate the pages as much as you like for morning pages. Or write down any inspirations from the infinite intelligence. So let's dive into our journal prompts today. Today's topic is on honoring yourself and owning your truth by acknowledging your throat chakra. In the previous video, we went over the ultimate guide to opening your throat chakra with the signs of the blocked throat chakra to mudras. To many other useful methods that can heal and open your throat chakra, you'll want to watch that video to learn the ways to be more confident in your self-expression. Go ahead and get comfortable with today's journaling exercise. You may also want to play some sophagial frequency music in the background to promote throat chakra healing. Some recommended herbal teas you may consider to heal and open your throat chakra includes. Butterfly pea flower tea, chamomile tea, peppermint tea, melva nut tea. You can also consider blending some blueberries in your smoothies, or add some blueberries to your oatmeal or other healthy desserts. Now grab your pet if you have one, open your digital journal, and reflect upon these journal prompts. Feel free to pause the video as needed. Honor yourself. Go at your own pace and enjoy your journey. Question one: What are some communication patterns you recognize in your family of origin? How did this impact who you are today? Question two: Who do you enjoy conversations with? What about them makes you enjoy the conversation, and how can you learn from them? Question three: What are some ways you can express your authenticity? How can you step into your ideal, authentic self? Question four: List all the times in the past you did not stand up for yourself. What was the underlying fear behind those moments, and how can you cultivate more authenticity to act differently now? Question five. List all the moments in the past you stood up for yourself. What were the core values and boundaries you were protecting? And how can you honor yourself more authentically from this awareness? Question six: How do you decide what information to share, how much to share, and with whom you share? What is your intention behind sharing the information? Question seven: 
List all the negative phrases you tend to use often. How can you rephrase them to be more self-empowered? Question 8. How do you contribute to conversations in both speaking and listening? Do you tend to speak or listen more? Or is it pretty balanced? Question 9. How can you cultivate more confidence in situations where you were called to speak a truth? Question 10. Write a letter to someone in your life that has brought a positive or negative impact on you, but you never had the courage or the right words or find a moment to speak your mind to them. Many people have a closed throat chakra due to childhood and or other past experiences. Some of us may experience adversities, abuse, or other injustice in the past but were told to stay quiet or were never taught how to process our emotions and painful memories. These emotions create blockages within our body and it prevents energy to flow freely through us that allows us to feel energetic and creative, which is supposed to be our natural being. Many people are conditioned to that life is all about struggles and suffering, so they accept that as their fate and never reach their potential. They've accepted what happened in childhood was just the way it is, or that what was taught in school is the only way to live life and success is only for special people, etc. They never question their reality, the authorities, and their potential. And this is not to shame or judge them. I was one of those people who never questioned my limiting beliefs or the people around me, and I remain in a victim role who is reactive towards life for a very long time. But after my transition, I've learned so much and I am grateful to share with you what I've learned on this platform. I wish you can shatter your old programming to think beyond what you were given so you can live your best life. Hope these journal prompts brought you some clarity and greater self-awareness around your throat chakra. May you honor yourself and connect with your inner magic. Until next time. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.